nurses, truck drivers, or whatever. How is it fair that you're paying your taxes every year and Donald Trump hasn't paid any federal tax in the last 15 years? Donald Trump delivered for the American people. Rising wages, rising take-home pay, an economy that works for normal Americans. That was Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz discussing the economy during last night's vice presidential debate. Other key topics include abortion, mass shootings, and immigration. Both vice presidential candidates gave undecided voters plenty to think about during the debate. This morning, we want to help break down the key takeaways from last night. Here to help us out, Dr. Brian Smith, political science professor at St. Edwards University, joining us from College Station. Good morning. Good morning. The vice presidential debate was quite different from the presidential one. Unlike the top of the ticket, Walsh and Vance found common ground on several issues and often agreed with each other. Can you elaborate on their interaction last night? Right. It was not the debates that we've been used to with President Trump, which have been a lot more bombastic, a lot more interrupting, a lot more uh, personal attacks. It was very much a policy-focused debate. and. One of the good things I thought was the parties agree on quite a bit, but it's when we get to elections where they really diverge. Brian, one topic, especially for Texas, is immigration. That got a little contentious at the debate. We want to play a little clip for you before we ask you a question. So you've got to stop the bleeding. You've got to re-implement Donald Trump's border policies, build the wall, re-implement deportations. We had the fairest and the toughest bill on immigration that this nation's seen. It was crafted by a conservative senator from Oklahoma, James Lankford. I know him. He's super conservative, but he's a man of principle, wants to get it done. Democrats and Republicans worked on this piece of legislation. Pass the bill, she'll sign it. So that was a little bit of the back and forth. Brian, do you think the candidates got their point across on their immigration policies? I think Vance did a very good job on immigration. It's one of the cornerstones of Donald Trump's campaign and he really pushed it. Waltz and Harris really aren't running as much on immigration, so they did deflect a little bit, which is what they needed to do and not concede that everything was a mess and the Biden-Harris administration was failing to do anything. Brian, both Vans and Waltz came to their running partner's defense when it came to the economy, a big issue this election season. Did the candidates paint the picture they needed to for those financially struggling? I think both candidates did a very good job staying focused and really appealing to their base and protecting their top of the ticket. Um, it wasn't really Vance's or Walsh's job to reassure the public on the economy. That's the job of Harris and Trump. But both candidates, I think, did a good job of really pushing how their policies would help Americans. And that's what the candidates want out of their vice presidents. According to a CBS News YouGov poll, both candidates favorably went up, putting Walls about 11 points higher than Vance. And while there were a lot of eye-opening moments last night, Brian, do you think this vice presidential debate will have any impact in the voting booth? Probably not. Waltz did go into the debate being the most liked of the four candidates. So he, by increasing, he did what he needed to do. Vance, by increasing, did what he needed to do. But this race is actually too close to call. And it's going to be won or lost by Harris and Trump, not Vance and Waltz. And for both candidates, the goal was to gain support in battleground states. And I think both candidates really appealed to their base. And we went into the debate. Not knowing who these people are, we came out actually liking them more. Yeah. Do no harm. That's what you want with a vice presidential, mm -hmm. uh, vice, president, vice presidential candidate. Dr. Brian Smith, political science professor at St. Edwards University. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me.